Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's Einstein activity says to crack a three digit code, a clue is provided after each guess. What is the correct number? Well, in order to solve this, I'm going to list out all of the number possibilities that we could have. So the only numbers included in our chart are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now I'm going to work through the clues and see what numbers I can cross off and figure out where I can position them. So the first clue says two numbers are correct, but only one is in the correct place. So that's good to know, but I can't narrow anything down for sure from that clue alone. The second clue says no numbers are correct. So I know that I can cross off the five, the six, and the seven. So that's a really great clue. The third clue says one number is correct and in the correct place. Well, we already determined that five and six are not going to be part of the three digit code. So we know that the four has to be the correct number. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that four. I'm also going to list out three spaces to represent the three digit code. And I'm going to put the four as the last space because I know that it must be it. The fourth clue says two numbers are correct, but in the wrong place. So we know the four is one of the correct numbers and the other one has to either be zero or one. Now the last clue says two numbers are correct but only one is in the correct place. And so we still know that that four is the one that's correct and then the one and the two is going to be either one of those but we're still not sure. Let's head back up to the first clue and reread it. It says two numbers are correct but only one is in the correct place. So since we already determined it's the four that is correct that means it's either the three is the first digit or the two is the second digit. We know that because the two or the three is gonna act as the number that is correct but in the wrong place. So that means our number is either something two four or it's three something four. Well, if you look at the last clue, it says two numbers are correct but only one is in the correct place. So because the first clue let us know that the random number and then the two and the four is a possibility that means that two cannot be in that center space in, in reference to the last clue so that means three has to be the first digit that also lets me conclude to one being the middle digit because we know that two numbers were correct here so this one has to move so the answer to our three digit code is 314. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, here's tomorrow's Einstein activity. See if you can solve it before I do, then comment down below with what you think the answer is. Then after that, you can head over to my website, supereasymath.com, click on math videos, and you can get access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.